Hello, everybody, especially the new people that just joined. Um, my name is Mrs. Shields, and I'm the Marketing and Recruitment Coordinator for the Eastern Center for Arts and Technology. Um, I'm very familiar with Hollowell. Some of you might know me. Um, my own children went to Hollowell. They're in Keith Valley right now, but they loved Hollowell. So um, you guys are really, really lucky to be there. So I'm here today with some current Eastern Center students from various programs, and we're going to talk to you about them, about our school, and hopefully answer any questions that you might have at the end. Now, our students do get dismissed at 1030, so we're going to get started. Um, we are a career and technical high school for 11th and 12th grade students, in, and that would be from all over Eastern Montgomery County. So if you chose to come to Eastern, you wouldn't just be going to school with students from Hepero. You're going to meet students from Abington, Springfield, Upper Dublin, Lower Moreland, Upper Moreland, Jenkintown, and even some of the local Catholic schools as well. So it's a really fun opportunity for you to meet new people that share your same interests. We're located right across the street from Upper Moreland High School in Willow Grove, and we have half-day programs. So when you're in high school, should you choose one of our programs, Half the day you'd be here at Eastern, and half the day you'd be at Hepro Horsham. Here at Eastern, you'd be choosing one of our 16 different programs of study. I have them listed here. All of our programs are two years, so it's your junior year and your senior year, and half day, Monday through Friday. So it will be all of your electives. And these are the 16 programs that we offer. There is one program that is one year only for seniors, and that's the Allied Health Program for students who are interested in pursuing a career in healthcare, whether you want to be a doctor or a nurse or a nutritionist. Um, Allied Health would be a good fit for you. Um, the other 15 programs that we offer are automotive technology, and that's what we consider the inside of the car, the engine, the brakes, the wiring. We have business and technology professionals, so if you're interested in working in an office environment or going to take a business major in college, business and technology professional would be a good fit. Collision repair technology. That is where you learn, if you get into a car accident, you learn how to pull out the dent, sand it down, repaint it, refinish, and detail it. Commercial art is graphic design, illustration, and photography. Construction technology, that's exactly what it sounds like. You learn um, carpentry. As a matter of fact, right now in our school, in our construction bay, construction technology is building a full-scale house along with HVAC and with electrical. So it will be a fully functioning house. And you guys will be able to come visit um, for our open house in February, February 27th. Then we have cosmetology, which is skincare, makeup, hair, and nails. We have culinary arts, which is cooking, baking, catering, restaurant management. Uh, we have electrical technology, which is the first step if you're interested in becoming a residential or commercial electrician. Our newest program, which isn't even built yet, it, our building is currently under construction for this program, is exercise science and rehabilitation which is gonna be for anyone who's interested in physical therapy, occupational therapy, or if you wanna be a personal fitness trainer, like you'd see at a gym. Uh, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, those are the people that you pay a lot of money to in the summer when your air conditioner breaks or in the winter when your heater breaks. Networking and cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is so important for every single company to keep our information safe. Protective services, which is police, fire, and EMT. Robotics and automated technology, which is if you're interested in robots or how things work, mechanical systems, um, that would be a good next step for you. Veterinary science, it's for if you love animals, if your, your future career involves working with animals, that would be a lot of fun. We even have a grooming clinic and a doggy daycare, so you really get to work with a lot of animals in veterinary. Welding technology. Welding technology, those welders can make a lot of money working with their hands. They're not typically in an office. They usually get to work, um, a lot of times they get to work outside um, working with metal and learning how to fuse metal. And I'll tell you, welders are involved with all types of career fields. 
If you see a car, there's usually um, a, some type of welding done there, bridges, furniture, you name it, welders are in demand. So welding is a really great, fun, hands-on program, and it's very high paying. Another thing I want to mention today that if um, college is a part of your goal, if that's something that you've dreamed about, you can absolutely do both. You can do, you can learn a skilled trade at Eastern and go to college. Um, last year, 60% of our students went on to some form of college and many went with credits earned while they were at Eastern. We have college credits attached to many of our programs um, and there's um, articulation agreements. There's agreements that Eastern makes with local colleges and universities um, where they consider the work that you do here at Eastern college level. So they're able to give you some credits and you can skip some intro courses. So that's a really good benefit. The next few slides here just show some of the colleges and universities where our students have gone on to continue their education. Drexel, Kutztown, Westchester, Johnson and Wales, Gwynedd Mercy, Penn State, Penn College of Technology, which is a career and technical college owned by Penn State, LaSalle, Art Institute of Philadelphia, Moore College of Art and Design, Millersville, Pennsylvania College of Art and Design, Manor, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, Temple University, Delaware State University, Monco and Bucks County Community Colleges. So we have some really great community colleges so local to us, we're really lucky. We also have a student leadership organization here at Eastern. You guys have, have a student council, I know, and ours is set up very similar to a, a student council with officers elected in each program. Um, the best part about Skills USA is that our students, they get to compete against other career and technical students from other career and technical schools for awards, for scholarships, and for medals. And every year they raise money for a different charity. This year's charity is the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And just yesterday, they were having a candy sale to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And um, just all throughout the year, they have all sorts of sales. Every month at Eastern, a student of the month is selected. It's a real honor because there's only 10 selected per year, September through June. So I just have a couple um, examples here for you. This is our September student of the month, Lorraine Prager, and she's from our Protective Services Program and Abington High School. So last year, um, she earned the Straight A Award as a junior, and she plans to attend Monco while she works as a security guard. Then she's gonna go on to the Police Academy, and eventually she's gonna pursue a career in the Naval Academy. So she was able to plan out her whole career from protective services. Our October student of the month, this is Nicole Klasky from our commercial art program at Abington Senior High School. So also last year, she also got the straight A award at our awards night, and she just got accepted to Penn State main campus. So she's really, really excited to major in business and architectural design. This is our November student of the month, Marcos Garcia from Automotive Technology and Hapro Horsham High School. So um, through Eastern, um, Marcos is actually working at a paid internship at Faulkner Infinity in Willow Grove. Last year, he was honored with a really prestigious award at our awards night called the Director's Award. After he graduates, he plans to go right into working. He wants to work in the automotive field. He'd love to spend five years working at a, as a technician where he is at Faulkner Infinity. And then he would like to go back to school to study biodiesel to gain more understanding of different types of engines and make him a little bit more of an expert in the engine repair field. This is our December student of the month, Zachary Trowbridge from Protective Services, also from Heifer Horsham High School. So really cool story. Last summer, he was visiting Gettysburg with his parents. They were out to dinner when he saw a man fall to the ground. Zachary had his EMT bag with him and a first aid kit. So he was able to check his vital, the man's vitals, which are his heart rate, his breathing rate, temperature, blood pressure. And he was able to stay with the person until the paramedics arrived to make sure he was safe. So um, he, is, he knows that paramedic is definitely going to be part of his future. After graduation, he plans to go to Monco for firefighting and also become a paramedic. So 
he was able to kind of map out his career through protective services. And now for the best part of the program and why we're really here today, um, I'd like some of my current students to introduce themselves to you and talk about their program, what they like about it, and maybe what they're going to do after they graduate. So we can start with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop scaring, sharing my screen. Stop scaring, stop sharing my screen. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello, my name is Owen Bowles, and I'm from Springfield Township High School, and I'm in the Protective Services Program. Um, the reason I chose the, this program in specifically was because of the subject material that we learn. Like they said, we do police, fire, EMS, but we also do things like security, hazardous materials, and all other kinds of stuff. Like we do police forensics, a lot of really cool things. Um, I really like the instructor that we have here, um, Mr. Zaslowski. He is um, a former New Jersey police detective and a former um, U.S. Army colonel. So he definitely has skills to back up his, um, the work that he does. Um, I also took the program because I like uh, the EMS portion of it. Medicine, emergency medicine is definitely what interests me. And also there's always going to be work for protective services type jobs. There's always going to be police officers, there's always going to be firefighters, there'll always be medics. So I promise you'll never go hungry. Um, what I like about the program, I like the, uh, the equipment that we have. I have my Batman utility belt on right now with all the uh, stuff that we use. And a lot of it is real stuff. So you definitely get a handle for it. Um, I like the uniforms that we wear. We definitely look a lot more professional and that we know what we're doing. Um, we also have a rank structure in the class. Like there is the teacher, but there's also a student in charge. And there's a couple students below him who uh, run uh, squads in the class. I'm one of those squad leaders, which is why I have these on my shoulder. Um, also the class structure, just the way that we learn things. It's a lot of really interesting stuff. Um, the type of certifications that we get, um, we're doing our CPR certification in February. We're also getting Firefighter 1 certifications through, um, uh, through Bucks County Community College. So I could have my Firefighter 1 by the time I graduate. And also we get a lot of um, certifications through FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. I have, I think, eight or something from them. Um, at my high school, I play water polo. I'm one of the captains of the team. We had a great couple of years when we did it, a couple state championships. And my future plans for when I'm out of Eastern and high school is I'm enlisted in the Navy to be a hospital corpsman, which is basically a, uh, a field medic for the soldiers. That's awesome. So listen, I'm going to um, let you guys go after you talk, just because you'll, you'll be, um, I don't want you to miss your bus. So come on up. Yeah. So if I go. Yes, thank you so much. Right, Great job. Hi, my name is Will Shapley. I'm also for from Springfield and I do HVAC. I chose the program because I have interest in it. Uh, I like the amount of hands-on experience I get in the class. Uh, we get some certifications that are required. You get your OSHA and EPA certifications. Uh, and after Eastern, I plan on going straight into the workforce. Yep, so he, um, one thing that Will didn't mention is, you know, he, uh, in his program, he can do co-op. Um, next year and that's kind of like a part of his plan that means he can go out and work four out of five days a week in the field earning money and earning the credits that he needs to graduate from high school so that's a really fun benefit of attending Eastern. Come on up. We have a welding student here. Hello my name is Sam Pollock. I'm in the welding program and uh, I chose I like Eastern because you, you learn a lot here like I'm a very hands-on guy so I like coming here and uh, welding is very hands-on and it requires a lot of skill so I'm very far along in the class so I'm about to go on the co-op and uh, you can get your OSHA 10 pretty much any certification you want you can try to get here um, I play ice hockey at my high school I'm, I go to Abington and uh, future plans I'm going to Going to co op soon and join the union and work. But and make a lot of money, right? Make a lot of money. Welders make That's a lot of money. Thank you so much. Great work. job. All right, Jake, come on Sorry, up. Have a good one. Thank you. Hello, um, I'm Jay. I go to Abington and I'm here at Eastern for robotics. And um, I chose uh, Eastern 
because I saw it as a great opportunity to really learn and um, see the field before I get in the field. So um, I uh, do robotics and I work on all different types of um, little things, but also big things. So we make um, uh, we do projects to tie into other projects. So um, right now I'm using a uh, uni universal robotics um, arm to um, move different pieces and uh, like detect from metal to plastic and all these different things that um, I would have never known if I didn't come to Eastern. Um, I like uh, I really like my instructor. Uh, <laughs> he uh, keeps me on track and he uh, shows me what to do and uh, he has a lot of background knowledge. He's uh, came from jobs, uh, different things, and um, for uh, there's co-op also in uh, programs that I can go into uh, later this year. And co-op is more like I will get paid for uh, and have credits to uh, school and get paid from there. But um, for co-op, um, one of my fellow um, uh, people in my class uh, was actually like bottling like vaccination. Like, so it's like, like right now, like these are stuff that like w is going on with us in current day. So I, I don't know, I always think that's great. Um, there's a lot of certifications we get here too. And um, uh, it's a lot of high level stuff, but um, OSHA is like how to protect yourself. So we use like goggles and glasses. And if we're working with more of electrical things, we need to be careful and you use soldering all the time. Um, we also have a 3D printer, so there's different gloves and things that we need to wear and all that. So all around, we have a lot of certifications. Um, um, yeah, for future plans, uh, I got accepted to Penn State uh, a couple of weeks ago. So um, after Eastern, I'm going into uh, the engineering field. So I'm going into mechanical and electrical, which is exactly what I learned right now in robotics. So I have a head start in my future career. So... Yeah. Thank you awesome. Guys. Great job. Good job. Thank you. So also with the robotics and automated technology program, if you visit Eastern, it is the first thing you see. It's a really awesome state of the art lab. And it has, as he mentioned, it has a 3D printer. It has um, several robotic arms that the students get to program and troubleshoot. And it is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And again, like robotics, automated technology, manufacturing, these are all words that lead to a really successful, good money making career. So we have one more student here with us from Commercial Art, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. Hi, guys. I'm from, I'm Cecilia. I'm from Commercial Art, and I go to Calvinham High School. Oh, Michelle says it's a little louder. Um, I'm Celia. I'm from Commercial Art, and I go to Cheltenham High School. Um, so I joined this program because I really like doing art outside of school and like on my own just for fun. And this um, this program was like really a helpful way to see what I could do in the future to maybe like to maybe do art um, as a career. And uh, the place that I that I do my work in, like our classroom, it's a really a really nice environment like it's super pro professional and I kind of get a taste of what it's like to be a graphic designer or an illustrator or a photographer so we do a lot of different uh, we do a lot of different uh, um, projects like we we can do uh, we do illustration you know like regular drawing we can do graphic design um, yeah right there we're, uh, we, that was our project we did at the beginning of the year where we were kind of going over basic, super basic colors like, um, like you know, just on the color wheel. And uh, we made a whole project from that, just focusing on different types of colors. And um, so this program, we have, uh, we get certifications in a lot of super, super uh, professional and kind of expensive um, uh, computer programs that maybe if you were to get it outside of school it would be a lot of money, um, but we get hit, we get it here for absolutely nothing. And those programs are like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Design, all like Adobe programs. And um, this can really help you in the future because a lot of uh, a lot of jobs use these programs. And if you have if you have basic knowledge of it, you can really like get a head start in your field. Um, 
and I'm only a junior right now, so I'm still thinking about what I'm, uh, where I'm going to go to college. But I definitely I'm going to go to college, possibly to pursue this, um, this field. And um, yeah, and it's just super cool to be working with people who I don't go to school with regularly. It's a really, it's really nice to get to know people. It's a really unique experience. So. Um, yeah, you should definitely consider, you should consider coming here. I know it's like, it seems like it's so far away, but it's going to come really quick. <laughs> so true. So true. Yeah. yeah. If you, Mr. Shield, if you could just yeah. show a few more, um, these, that's a pastel project. Yeah. yeah. So we had like, um, we got a stuffed animal and we got to draw it with uh, pastels sort of to focus on like shading and like colors. Um, but that was a really fun project. Yes. See, so we have time for one more, and then we'll field yeah. some questions. And then we also, for homework, we get to do, um, we have to do, uh, like, drawings based on a theme. So these two for, were from a couple years ago. This is when I wasn't here. But these are some really great examples of some stuff that we might do outside of school, like, for our homework or something. It's a lot of fun. Yes. Yeah, so homework, thank you so much. Great job. So there, one of the questions might be, you might be having is, is there homework at Eastern? Um, sometimes it really depends on the program. Like you can't really have homework in um, welding, but you definitely could in, um, you know, maybe cybersecurity or in commercial art. So at this time, I would really, really like to open it. I know we only have a few minutes, but um, I'd, I would like to open it up to any questions that you guys could have. Now, the teacher could either um, write it in the chat or you could, un, you know, feel free to unmute and just ask me your question. I can tell there's some talking going on out there. I think that I think that I'm about to hear some good questions. All right, Kaylin, how about you come up to the laptop so you can ask your question? Awesome. All right, here we have Kaylin. What's your, right here, right in front of the camera so they see you. There she is. Go ahead, Kaylin. Um, is there like um, maybe like book writing or, or something like an author um, thing mm -hmm. that I could do there? Sounds like you really like your English class or ELA, right? Yeah, I really yeah. like my yeah. That's your favorite? Okay, cool. Um, actually, we don't. We do have a business and technology professional program, which also involves writing and editing, but it's not necessarily if you want to be an author. I don't think it would be a bad start for you, um, but nothing like directly associated with that. And I really like the drawings that um, the other person showed us, and I really like drawing too. Oh, awesome. So when you come to Eastern, maybe you'll come to commercial art. Yeah, they, right, they even, oh, go ahead, go ahead. We have Mikkel here with a question now. How hard is robotics? Ooh, good one. How hard is robotics? Was that the question? Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, you don't have to come in to the program having any knowledge already. The teacher teaches you everything that you need to know. Now, I do think that having um, being good at math or interested in math is a big help. Um, but I don't think, you know, it's as hard as it's it really is the effort that you put in. That's how hard it's going to be. You're going to do great. I can tell. Yeah, you're great at math. Thank you. You're welcome. We have a couple of questions in the chat that I'm going to see. OK, Mr. Schleicher. Hello. <laughs> My kids miss you. Do cosmetology students work with actual customers? Excellent question. Um, they did before the pandemic on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We had a clinic open to the public. I'm sorry, Thursdays and Fridays. We had a clinic open to the public where they could get their hair cut or color, their eyebrows waxed, their nails done. Now, we really hope to get back to that in the future. But just right now, they only work on each other. Um, but excellent question, and I'm really hoping that that changes sometime soon. Sydney, okay, here we go. What's the most popular program? Whoa, that's a that's a hard question. Um, I'm gonna say that possibly welding. 
welding had a um, welding, allied health, and veterinary science all had waiting lists um, that were pretty long last year. So I'd say at this time, but I'm going to tell you, I've been here at Eastern 14 years, and it changes. It changes all the time. What what you know what the most popular program is. But right now, I feel pretty confident saying that welding, allied health, and veterinary science. Um, the next question, Beth S. Fifth grade. In the vet animal program, how many animals do you get to work with? Awesome question. Um, they actually put a schedule together. Right now, it's only employees animals or students animals that are in the program. Just during COVID, um, outside of COVID, we can have people from the community come in. So there can be, I've seen up to upwards of, you know, five, six. Yeah, there's cat fostering. Um, we've had several cats in there. We have a partnership with a place called Forgotten Cats, where our students socialize the cats and get them ready to go out for adoption. And then we always have dogs. If so, if you're a dog lover, you know, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Sometimes I just go over there to see the dogs, you know. So there can be anywhere between like seven to ten animals there per day. Great question. Okay, do veterinary science students earn money while attending slash practicing skills? Um, no, they don't, um, Mr. Schlenker's class. They, they do not, um, unless, of course, they are out, like I mentioned, that internship your senior year. Um, you can earn money on our internships, but not actually while you're in the program. Um, can you do more than one class, Sydney, fifth grade? Um, no, actually, you pick one program for the full two years. Um, another question might come uh, into your mind. Well, what if I do one program? Say I do um, veterinary science one year, but then I realize I really want to do human medicine. I want to do allied health. Yes, you can switch. We recommend that you stay in the program for the full two years, but we have had students take one program their junior year and one program their senior year. It's definitely happened. Do you have programs related to coding? Um, there are there there might be a little bit of coding in our networking and cybersecurity program, Miss J. Have some of your students gone to join the Coast Guard? Oh, the answer to that is absolutely, because there are so many careers in the Coast Guard related not just to protective services, but to welding, to auto, to collision, to HVAC, to electrical. We have had so many students go into the Coast Guard. Alexis Shulsky, is there a program for music? Um, actually, currently at this time, we do not have a program for music. That would be really, really cool, though. I agree with you. Miss G, you have a raised hand in fourth grade. Would you like to unmute? Yes, we have a question. Um, we were wondering if in any of the allied health programs or anything like that, we would learn about um, managing diabetes or treating or anything related to diabetes. Oh my goodness, you you asked a great question. Thank you so much. And yes, the, endo, the endocrine system and diabetes managing type one and type two um, is definitely a part of the program as well as medical terminology. And those students get three college credits through Montgomery County Community College um, because it really is kind of a college level course. But yes, they do learn about the endocrine system and, and type one and type two diabetes. Thank you. Is there a program related to working with marine animals? Thank is you. There, oh, you're welcome. Is there a program related to working with marine animals? So uh, Beth S's class, the veterinary science class is a small animal science program dealing mainly in uh, dogs, cats, rodents, that type of thing. But they do learn about marine and aquatic animals as well as larger animals. So there is that element to it. Yes, they, I know at one point, I don't know if they have it this year, they had a very large saltwater tank in the program. Does Eastern accept students who are 45 year old teachers? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Schlenker, um, believe me, I'd love to take one of these as well. Um, you know, but there is a continuing ed program for adults. You know, you can become an electrician or a welder through that. <laughs> Alexis Shulsky, are there any videography programs? So, um, 
not directly. So the, the commercial art program, you learn graphic design, illustration, and photography. But um, those are all transferable skills to videography. And sometimes they even have um, speakers, people from the industry who come in and, and talk about the video portion of, of commercial art. So very, very good question. It's not directly a part of the curriculum, but indirectly, yes. Did I miss anything? Any other questions? You guys are great. Are there any, oh, here we go, sorry. Are there any teaching programs? Um, no, not, no, again, not necessarily. Some of these, um, some graduates of our programs have gone on to come back and teach the programs. Our collision repair technology instructor is a graduate. Our cosmetology instructor is a graduate. One of our chefs in culinary arts is a graduate. So um, it definitely happens, but um, to teach regular education, uh, we don't have anything that directly relates to that. You guys are awesome. Any other questions? No? Oh, here we go. How many students per class? Okay, um, that really varies on the space in the program, but I'm going to say an estimate of 20 in the morning, 20 to 25 in the morning and 20 to 25 in the afternoon. Um, we've definitely had wait lists, as I mentioned, in some of our programs, um, for, mostly for those students who decided they wanted to enroll a little bit later, like after the enrollment period ended. Um, and we have, Alexis, thank you. We do have 16 programs of study. Um, all of our programs are two years in length with the exception of Allied Health. That's a one year so seniors only program for students interested in healthcare. But we ha also have automotive technology, collision repair technology, cosmetology, culinary arts, um, commercial art, we have uh, robotics and automated technology, exercise science and rehabilitation. We have welding technology, protective services, construction technology, HVAC, which is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and electrical technology. So those are the 16 career and technical programs that we offer. What is the graduation completion rate? Oh, I. Turns out I have the data person right here in the room with me. I believe it's it's about 80, 89%. Really high rate. Good question. Mr. Schlenker's class is asking a lot of good questions today. Who else? Anybody else? Can parents bring fifth graders to open house? Yes, of course. So our open house will be um, Sunday, February 27th from 1 to 3.30 p.m. And we also run a summer fun program for middle school students. Um, unfortunately, that is sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth grade, so you'd currently be in sixth in order to um, enroll in that program. We will know at the end of this month if we're going to run it this summer. Um, we're still kind of, kind of working out that situation. So what is the most uncommon program? Oh my goodness. Most uncommon. Yeah. Maybe the exercise science and rehabilitation or the robotics and automated technology. I, I think we have such a cool lab for robotics. Um, I love the robotic arms that, that they, get to do, they get to use. And I love the 3D printer and all the fun stuff that they make in there. Really good question. Oh, uh, Isabel Martinez, I see you have a raised hand. You can unmute if you'd like. Um, do you have a program for acting? For acting? Um, we don't. Uh, we do not have a program related to, to acting. I'm so sorry. What else do you like? What's your second choice? Music, probably. What's your third choice? <laughs> Art? Do you like animals? <laughs> All right. 
Was there another question? I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay. All right, you guys. There's, you know, I have another minute or two. If you're, if you're interested, let me know what your questions are. That's why we're here. Otherwise, thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. You guys were great. And I love how well. And thank you. Yeah, we love you. We love you. Thank, and thank you. And thank, and thank your students for sharing you know, their experiences too. This is great. Yeah. Yes, they're they're awesome. They, oh, I will tell Danny and Alex you said hi, Mr. Schlicker. Yeah. They'll be so thrilled. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Oh. Happy Friday. Great yeah. to see you. No, oh. Is there one more question? Is that Romy? Go ahead. Hi. Please excuse the interruption. It's going to be cold temperatures today. It's going to be indoor recess today. Indoor recess. Indoor recess, guys. Indoor recess today. <laughs> Did you say gymnastics? Yeah. We don't have a gymnastics program, but we do have a new program for next year, which is called um, Exercise Science and Rehabilitation. And they would be dealing with a lot of different fitness routines, and I'm sure gymnastics would be like some part of it. Flexibility and strength. So that might be something you would be interested in. Yeah. Great question, thank you. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. I'm going to I'm going to log off. I hope you have an awesome weekend. Thank you so Thank you. much. <laughs> hey, if you guys, if the teachers on here have any questions at all, or if your students think of something later, I'm just going to go ahead and put my email address in the chat. Feel free to reach out. I always think of things later that I should have asked. You might too. So, all right. All right. Take care, everybody. Good to see you all.